Socket. The most important component of your prosthesis is the socket. The socket is the custom-made component made for each individual which your limb fits snugly into. A snug fit prevents skin irritation, increases comfort, makes the limb feel lighter, and gives you better control over your prosthesis. You cannot put all of your weight on the end of your limb because this would be painful. Instead, your prosthetist will design the socket so that your weight is spread throughout your entire limb. Some, but not all, sockets will include a soft removable liner that adds cushioning to your residual limb. Socks can also provide a cushioning and accommodate for fluctuation in volume. Pylon connects the socket to the foot. In most cases, this looks like a pipe. Some feet have integrated pylons that allow for energy return and dynamic response. Foot. Depending on your strength, activity level, and goals, you and your prosthetist may choose from hundreds of feet for your artificial limb. Designs are constantly being improved to provide the most comfort and best function. Suspension. Your prosthesis needs to hold onto your residual limb in some way. This is referred to as suspension. A well-suspended artificial limb feels lighter, is easier to control, and avoids skin problems. The type of suspension system that you and your prosthetist choose will depend upon your body shape, strength, activity level, skin condition, and of course, your preferences. Liner. In many cases, a liner is used as an interface within the socket and to provide suspension of the prosthesis. This is usually made of silicone or some type of gel and is rolled onto the residual limb. Sleeve. In some cases, a sleeve is used to provide suspension of the prosthesis and to provide an airtight environment for the residual limb when using suction or vacuum assisted suspension. The bottom of the sleeve is attached to the socket and the top of the sleeve is rolled onto your thigh. Sleeves can be made of silicone or another type of gel, or in some cases, a stretchy material.